Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of web scrapping. In this session we are going to scrap data from nokri.com. It's a job portal. We are going to scrap the job description, job detail company from nokri.com. In my previous session, this is the third session of web scrapping. In my previous session, I show how to scrap data from Amazon and how to scrap data from Snapdeal, Shopcluj and Miso. So at that time we are using a NuGet package, Scrappy Surf. But today we are going to use another NuGet package, NewtonSoft.json. I think most of people are familiar with this. And we are calling some API and we will scrap the data. So for today's session, I created a Blazor server application here i added a menu here so once i click on this click the scrap the records it will scrap the record and display here so how to do this so let's go to our nokri.com so it's a job portal i also search in this nokri.com so i'm searching some record you can see software engineer so i'm Delhi. I'm not keeping any experience and clicking on search. So you can see these are the record are coming. So how to get this record? So let's go to the developer tool. Click on right click on the browser. Click on inspect. Here network option. Just refresh the page first. So once you refresh the page, you can see below there are API are calling. Here you can see all API. So I am here clicking page XHR. So after this, you can see some record here. So if you see this data, go to preview, there are no proper record. But there is one more API you can search. Right? So click on search, you can find this job detail okay job type skills company name everything so go to the header section copy paste this url copy this url go to your postman so i am using your postman So you can see this is a get method. So here just click on send. So you can see it is saying please provide app ID and system ID in header. So go to the browser and let's find the app ID and header in the system ID. So if you come down request header so here you can find something called app id this is the app id go to postman header section here i am keeping app id equal to 109 this is 109 come down so you can find the system id also this is also 109 right app id and system id click on send so now you can see the exact record in in a json format now copy this json completely go to browser inside the browsers so json to c sharp class so json to c sharp dot com this one paste this json Click on convert. So these are the C sub class for your JSON response which we get from nowgrid.com. Right? 
so now copy this complete c sharp go to our blazor server app inside this i am creating one model inside the data folder right click our class so i am giving no query model i got the model here so as we created this model let's go to our razor component which is here add this namespace so using my application name which is no query scrapper dot data inside the code section i am going to write I'm creating one object of this root model which is coming from this no query model actually so you can see right click go to this root go to definitions it is coming to here here everything containing all the list okay next I'm going to design this screen so here what I did this is loading is false I'm checking if it loading is not equal to true then data is loading else it will show me the job id job title company name skill description from this list so if you go to this model actually we got from okri so title job id company name tag and skill url description everything right so once data is loading loaded it will load into this table right next we need to add the new get package inside our application so this is my new get package let's go to tools manage new get console you can go to new new get package management manager and you can search and install also I'm doing through console so it got installed successfully next we are going to do using newton shortcut json next i'm going to write a asynchronous method which i'm going to assign to this button okay see here so here i added one method scrap data like i added http client and client dot header app id and system id just like the json we created here inside the header section next this is the url i'm going to keep here client dot get async here in this url right so next call this method inside the click event on click here this method which is our this method now run the application and see data is scrapping or not here after getting the result from this get async i am just converting the complete result into our a pair then i am adding to this root object it will take few seconds to load the application go to web scrapper so now you can see job id title company name what are the skill and tags and what are the descriptions so these all are getting from this table and so in this way we can scrap nokey.com record using dotnet core
guys i hope you like my videos if you do give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much